Hello, my little beach. Hope to see you soon. I think I'm starting to manage again. I'm managing to get over this roid raging. It takes a while. Um, I'm hoping to see you very soon. I hope this weekend and this weekend for the weekend, because this will be the second month here, constant and. So I've been letting off some more recordings um, or more um, videos, um, rehashes, edits. I can't wait to see the Ouija. I can't wait to to realise certain dreams that, you know, things that, like, you know, going to a water slide park, you know, fun park, you know, the stuff that you see in the movies where, you know, you go sliding together and, you know, like the, you know, Maybe go to an amusement park. Um, you know, I want to dine at a restaurant with you. Um, what else do I want to do? I want to, um, what else do I want to do with you, Luigi? Uh, yes, I want to travel with you overseas. Go to New York. I've always wanted to go to New York. <laughs> um, oh, what else do I want to do? I want to just, you know, do those wonderful things that I, I never thought I'd do with anybody. Go out on a Saturday night every Saturday night. Then do we really have to go out on a Saturday night when we've got it all at home? But then it'd be nice to still go for a water slide and uh Maybe visit the ocean every now and then, come back to the northern beaches. If we ever live out west in Silicon Valley, I still want to touch down if, at the beach. You know, the, where I was brought up as a child, you know, the many good memories were, you know, not, not memories of love as is such, but they're still there. The beach means a lot to me, you know, the beauty of the, the sand and the surf and the sun. My skin doesn't burn anymore, weech. It heals very quickly, even if it does burn slightly. It doesn't peel anymore. So my skin's very well adapted for that sort of thing. Um, and I look forward so much. Oh dear, I look like I've got bags under my eyes. Crinky. Yeah. But anyway, I long to see you. And to... But it'd be nice to just have... To go out to cough. Actually, no, I can't drink coffee anymore, but I drank coffee most of my life. Um, I don't have to elaborate on why. My brain won't take it. Um, but I'd like to drink things like. Then again, I don't even know if I could consume hot cho iced chocolate now because my epilepsy, because apparently glucose or sugar reacts badly with epilepsy. I'm going to miss, I really miss those drinks now. I don't know. Maybe if I'm. Maybe when I get together with you and I'm not malnourished or I'm not eating just chips to keep my brain functional, um, maybe when I do get, I mean, they do have treatment for epilepsy, but then I don't want to take epileptic drugs that, that crash me down, but I have to make sure that I eat. Again, I mean, I have to eat a high sodium diet, and, and, I, and milk doesn't agree with me now, just tiny milk, so. Even when I tried to put milk in, in my cereal, just to wet the cereal, I had a funny sensation up here. Um, and I think that's where the electrical activity goes on and it sort of shorts down to the, you know, to the left hand side. So, basically, yeah, I really want to miss drinking hot chocolates chocolates. But if, maybe if I eat a whole a whole stack of sodium, like if I have a big plate of pasta and have it full of salt and full of whatever I could put on it that makes it really rich and then after that I could probably treat myself, I don't know, but it's not, it's not, I mean, but then again it could be brought on by lack of emotional um, comfort, you know, lack of love, you know, because stress can bring it on and the sense that, you know, I've been under a lot of duress to try and get work done and of course we've had interruptions and disruptions and had a big clash with father a couple of nights ago and yeah I basically blew the living kahuna out of him he actually tried to he actually took took out my internet connection 
um, on Monday morning and I totally, he, he got his way, he got, he managed to make me talk, but he didn't just get me talking, he got me swearing and cursing him, but I basically then had to lay down martial law in this place, and so this is not a very nice place to live, and it's very cold, and whatever, I must, I must, I must keep my brain cold now, I've got to keep it cool, I just wish it would stay cool and my body would stay warm, but I've now got, it didn't take long before after I blew the living crap out of him. Um, police were called. Extended hours team. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Fast. Yep. I knew we were, I knew we had bullshit to tell me. But no, there was some good news about, apparently he was trying to tell me that there was a delivery of food. So I've got some dips, but I'm getting low on them too. But, but, you know, it's very challenging. But now we're at the top of the pile of what we've got to do. I, I'm trying to get the media to to react to, no, I've done some blogs on Asperger's Syndrome and I'm hoping that I've basically lobbed a few around into certain places, into some media entities I won't name, but uh, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> so I look forward to seeing you soon and proving all my haters wrong and your haters wrong and the toe heads, but um, it's a real uphill battle. This is like totally hard work. Um, so I've got to basically hold it together. I've got to hold the fort together. This computer is getting very, very hard to use now. The actual, all that data flowing in and out is actually causing, and all that video editing is actually causing um, the screen to be freely frozen. Like, and also I'm using, like, like Google browser is really good, but even the Google browser is is getting a bit hard. Like, you can actually feel it in the mouse when you're clicking the mouse, and the, it's not responding properly. So I've been actually trying to, I'm like, I spent, a, I must have defragged the hard drive this morning about five times, because <laughs> we didn't, I didn't defrag enough. I, that's how busy I've been on this thing, and it's frustrating. You click, click, click. Nothing works. It's horrible. And it's like, oh, oh, dang. I just drag the cable on that. So it's really the most infuriating thing to do is when you, when you're trying to get the click your mouse and you feel like you're clicking on a hard like glass a glass surface. But when the mount when the when the interface or when the when it's working fine you can feel it soft. It's got a, I don't know if that's it's weird. It's like when you're switching a switch on and off. If there's no electricity flowing it feels like it's dead, but when there's electricity you can feel some kind of it's probably potential difference from voltage. Um I want to the wedge. Well, you know, you're so good looking. I don't know if that was you on that bus, but it's strange. It's a strange feeling, all edgy. It's going to take a little getting used to. I've never been, I've never had a, anyone I could talk to, that I could feel close to, anyone I could touch without feeling violated. You know, I look forward to not talking too much sometimes. I mean, I'd like to talk with you, you know, like over coffee. No, forget the coffee. That's a stupid default. But over a restaurant meal, you know, do what the normal people always espouse, but do it better. Do like, and then when we go to bed, or when we bang on in the demo room, we don't really have to talk that much. I just want to know because you know local area connections in the social world have been always a load of shit. Apart from you, but I rejected you. But so I found cyberspace was is, is more. But cyberspace can't replace a friend. It can't replace true love. It can't replace. It it it, it great supplements. It's better than being totally cut off from every, everything, but it'll never satisfy. And my desire to touch you and to make love to you is just so strong. You know, I just want to, I just want to be close to you. I want to feel that tactile sensation of running my hands over you and and kissing you with like, you know, like I'll get this instinct to just like when I'm lying there and I'm in bed and I'm like I feel like a little child that's either distressed or or, or even when I'm not, I get this lovely sensation to just want to, you know, 
click on top of the cute in my hand for you. And it's a very it's a very primitive thing, touch and kissing. It's beautiful now, I've realised it's so beautiful. It's so human, it's so intimate, it's more intimate than just being in a, in a local area with your friends, you know, if we use internet terms or computer networking terms, you know, these really are simulations of human interactions. The only thing, good, the thing that sets this apart from human interactions is that you can send this stuff around the world, whereas when you're together, oh, okay, forget about that, Skynet, okay. Apart from that, that's the usual understanding. And the thing is, when it's, when it's about touch, when it's about sex, as in making love, as in you're not even talking, you don't even have to talk, you don't even have to, you can, they can enhance it. Um, but when you have a relationship based on true love, it's like, I can't wait to just to get close to you and just to feel your body against me. To just run my hands over you and have you, you know, that lovely sensation I've never known up until recently that, you know, the skin is very sensitive and it's very beautiful. Intimacy. It's closer than any network that, you know, that a human can have. And when a man and a woman consummate the marriage, you can't get any more closer than that. When a man... <laughs> yes. It's beautiful, Luigi. I just can't wait to interface with you, Luigi. I can't wait till our hardware gets plugged in and our software inter interacts, you know, that goes on in our heads and our feelings, you know. And I just want to cover your mouth with kisses, you know, and cover you with kisses. <laughs> yeah. So I really look forward to those um, things, you know. And to look at your face and your body, you know, your rounded body and to, and to have you just touch it, you know, and to feel it. I really look forward to having you inside me. To feel that oh, thrust, that hardness, but beautiful and to have you throw your seed inside me really at high velocity. It's so beautiful, Luigi. And um, to what can I say? And I'm hoping and praying, Luigi, that when we make love, that when I, when my muscles contract around your manhood, I'm hoping that we will remain captive to each other for at least half an hour after we've orgasmed. I'm even hoping an hour that we'll just, I'll just be so locked onto your manhood. I, you, we won't just pull ourselves apart until a little refractory period of that half an hour to an hour. I really want to be stuck together with you, Luigi. <laughs> yeah, that's so, so beautiful, Luigi. 20 years ago, it would be nice. But I hope at the age of 40, I, I don't know, are you 40? But whatever it is, that's my age. I look forward to you. And that's something I've never experienced at such a beautiful level to just be so closely touching. No, we won't even have to talk. We just let our bodies talk. I love you dearly. I just can't stop saying how much I care. I love you, Luigi. I would make love to you on the honeymoon night. I want the honeymoon to be, I want our marriage to be the 7th of July, the same day that I sent my first videos up to you, the first copy of videos to show you. And you know, sometimes I feel like you're doing this to me, Luigi, like your hand is, I don't know, it's weird. I mean, we ask me to have some pretty weird stuff that happens that normal people don't get but you know I feel like it's you just taking control of me it's beautiful I hope it is you it's the closest thing I've got gotta go Luigi
you better If we would only dance together So join your hands across the nation And let's unite this generation Thank you.